guys, Crystal here with Sea Lock Candles and Soaps, and we are here doing a soap. And guess what? You guys can't yell at me no more because I have gloves. Yes, 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 I have gloves. So we are doing a soap that I have not done in probably over a year, and I don't know why I haven't done it because it's a very popular scent. Um, it's Love Spell by Victoria's Secrets. Everybody likes Love Spell. And I also got to do a hot process soap tonight. You know, I just made my um, oatmeal milk and honey and I sold out of it at when I went to the flea market this past weekend. Um, I have one bar left, so I definitely have to make some more of that. Um, I'm really just doing remakes, but this one's not a remake. This is a completely new design and I'm excited about it. The colors we're going to do today is Flash Dance Mica by Matt Oils. And ooh, my top of that's dirty. But um, there's that one. And then we're going to do a Pink Neon by Nurture Soap. And then this is not in the right container, but this is a Violet Neon Purple from uh, Matt, um, no, not Matt Oils, from Micah's and More. And then we've got Orchid Purple from Nurture Soap. So we've got two different purples and two different pinks. I'm doing a Neon Purple, a Neon Pink, a Flash Dance Pink, which has almost got like a pinkish purple, and then a really pretty purple from Nurture. So I'm excited about today's soap. My goat's milk, my oatmeal, and all that is already in my bowl. Let me get my gloves on here. Yay, they fit me. Well, they say one size fits all. I doubt that. All right, let's get this rocking and rolling. So, um, I just mixed up everything that's in my bowl, so I really don't need to buzz it again. So, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to, um, I'm going to pour my lye down my stick blender. And then rock it to get the last drop out. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to rinse this out and give me something for my stick blender. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get this buzzed up and then we'll add our cream. Had a little while to eat on the oils um, I've always added my cream um, before like right when I add my lye and several people told me that you know that the, the lye will eat on my cream so just to buzz the lye up just a little bit before I add it so I've been doing that and I really don't see a difference you guys there is not much of a difference at all so let's go ahead and get this buzzed up Good and emulsified. If I don't get too thick, which it's already starting to get thick on me for some reason, but if I don't get too thick, I want to try to do a wall pour. It's a, I've not done one in a long time, and if it does get too thick, I think I'm just going to do an in the pot swirl. So. Alrighty guys, so we got everything weighed out. That's just how I do things. I don't guesstimate. I'm not very good at guesstimating. Well, estimate and guesstimate. I call it guesstimating. I'm not very good at it, so I do weigh my um, oils out. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one because it's liquid. And which one do I want that one to be? Let's do this one. So that's good. So we got that pink. Now this one's going to be the Flash Dance Mica. Oh, my TV just went. You 
YouTube is so finicky, I don't want to be copyrighted. They are. They're super finicky about stuff. I want to do this one in the neon purple. And then orchid purple in this one. Alright guys, now we got our colors done. Let's go ahead and get them buzzed up. Pink is first, then purple. this purple and my phone's ringing but I'm not going to answer that I don't know who it is I ain't busy right now if it's Stephanie just tell her I'll call her back hon that's my best friend by the way Shout out to Miss Stephanie. Hello. Now this one. Hello. Just hang up. Don't call this house one again. I'm gonna spirit call. It's a prank color. Caller. Color. Listen to me. Caller. Huh? That's a telemarketer. Alright, everything is good and mixed. Now, let's see how it acts with the fragrance. Hopefully, it does not accelerate too much because I want to do a wall pour. And you need a fluent fluid not fluent fluid batter if you want to do a wall floor so what appointment yeah I go Thursday after work they're going to take an x-ray and see what they got to do with it I hope they ain't got to pull it okay so this actually might have decelerated my trace a little bit because it was a little bit thicker now but Oh my gosh, it smells good. I love Love Spell. I can't believe we've not made it in over a year. I can't believe it. I completely forgot I had it, to be honest with you. To be honest with you guys, I completely forgot. I know, I'm goofy. I can't help it. My daughter says I'm embarrassing. <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay, so it's not fluid enough for a wall pour. I might be able to pull it off. I might. Gotta make sure the fragrance is good and mixed in or else we'll get fragrance pockets and separation. And I don't want to stick blend again because it will just get thicker and I don't want it to get thicker. In case you're like me and a, and a klutz, yeah. You're right, Lisa. I'm a klutz. I am over here pouring sweat, y'all. You can't see me. Thank God you can't because I'll be looking rough today. And I am pouring down sweat. Like it's dripping down me. That's how hot it is. And I got the air conditioning on. 
It's just hot when I soak. I've been hot because I just cooked supper. Maybe that's why I'm hot. Sitting over the stove. Alright, I think I've got everything uh, mixed in. I think, I think I got all of the fragrance mixed. And it's still a little thick. So, I want to do a wall pour. I don't care. I want to do it. And I might not be able to, but... I want to do something different. I always do the dowel. And I'm getting tired of doing the dowel. I mean, don't get me wrong. The dowel is absolutely gorgeous. Alright, I want to talk while I pour, guys. Make sure... Can you see that? Let me see. No, you can't see that. Let's see over here. Can you see that? Yes, you can see that. Okay. So, let's start with a little bit of purple. And I'm just going to pour it down. This purple is a little um, fluid. Look at me spilling stuff again. And my best friend Stephanie told me, I told her I was going to do a wall pour. She's like, you need to do a hanger swirl with a wall pour. So I think we're going to be doing a hanger swirl along with the wall pour. I'm trying to get... Love that down. All right. Now repeat back to the purple. It's gotten even thicker, but that's okay because this is going to look pretty. I wish it was more fluid, but there's not really nothing I can do about that. Oh, this one, make sure you guys can see. Sorry if my containers are in the way. Good thing is it smells scrumptious. I love, 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 love smell. I wish I had the perfume. You know, I should make me some. My daughter's been begging me to make her perfume. <laughs> Today. It just wants to fall over. Alright, that pink now, this purple.
food this one. I'm getting low. Getting low. My phone is ringing. I was bound and determined to do a wall pour, y'all. Something different. I mean, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the way that, um, well, that's just funny. I got all over me. I absolutely love the way that, uh, my Dow swirls, um, swirl my soaps. I mean, I think it's absolutely beautiful the way it does it. But I'm tired of doing the Dow swirl. It's what I do all the time. And it's so pretty. Yes, it turns out really, really pretty. But I'm tired of doing it. Like, I want to experiment and do other things. Oh, I was going down the road today, and my windshield wipers just decided to stop working. They just decided that they're not going to work no more, and I figured it was probably a fuse. And I called a mechanic friend of mine, and I told him, I was like, I can't find the fuse box. I said, my, my windshield wipers um, stopped working on me, and I have no clue where the fuse box is. I said, it's usually by the steering wheel, right? He's like, no, Crystal, with your car, it's under the hood. I'm like, well, I have no idea where in the heck that would be. How to change it or anything. So, he said he was repoing cars right now. And he would get back to me. He said he would come and he would uh, check the fuse out for me. So that was very sweet of him. It's my sister's boyfriend. He's a mechanic. I got them together. Me and my daughter did, actually. Um, we were at the flea market, and um, he comes up, and we know him. And my daughter is best friends with um, his little cousins. And um, um, he's like, you got any good women? A good woman that might be able, I'd be able to talk to. And I really wasn't thinking of nobody. So, you know what? I really don't know nobody. And uh, my daughter's like, Maddie, Maddie, my sister. And I was like, you know what? That is a good idea. So, we showed him a picture of my sister. And she's like, ooh, she's cute. So, I get home. Well, I get his number. And I get home. And I call my sister. I was like, guess what? I got somebody for you. And she got all excited. So, who, who, what's he like? What's he like? Is he a good guy? I'm like, yes, he's a good guy. He's got a job. He's a mechanic. He's got his own place. He's got a car. He don't do drugs or anything like that. And I showed him your picture, and he is interested. She was on the moon. So excited. So, um, I gave him her number. And they started talking, and they headed off right off the back, and now they're dating. So I set my sister up. She's my younger sister. She is, um, she's my sister that I was looking for for many, many, many years. She got adopted out um, when she was a baby, her and my other sister, Maddie. But my other sister, unfortunately, don't talk to me. I don't know why. 
Um, me and Maddie both has tried to tell her that I am not like the rest of my family. That, um, you know, I'm not anything like the rest of my family. And, but she, she won't talk to me. So she'll come to me in her own time. You know, I'm not going to push it. All right, here's my um, hanger tool. I'm going to go ahead and do a hanger. I'm going to kind of, I don't know how I'm going to swirl. I'm just going to swirl. All right, that's all I'm going to do. That is going to look pretty, hopefully. All right, let me get, aha, here's one. So let me get a popsicle stick to knock down some of these sides. I'm hoping you guys seen what, seen everything I've done. That would really suck if you guys couldn't see down in the mold. I mean, that's the whole point of making a video, so you guys can see what I'm doing. Alright. Now, we're going to put a top on it. And I've got to wash my shirt, because it has got mica all over it. And I just got this shirt. Okay, so, let's get the purple on. a spoon top with this too. I think that would look good. There's that. Let's do some flash dance mica. Ooh, that was a little bit too much there. Make sure I get it on both sides. I say too much of this pink, but oh well. It's a pretty pink. And the neon purple. I think I saved a little bit too much of this one too. But the colors look good together, so I don't mind. Now 
my um, video camera is shut off, but here is my top. I don't like it, but it's all what I could do with it. It would not let me play with it. It was good and thick, but for some reason it's not like um, standing up thick. It's not, it's thick, but it's not thick enough to do a spoon top. I did my best. Um, it looks okay. It'll look better once it's cut. So, again, here we go. There's my love spell. Isn't it pretty with all the sparkles? Alright, guys, so stay tuned for the cut. It's Crystal here, and we are back to cut our love spell. Here is what it looks like. So pretty. I think it will turned out awesome. Can you guys see that? Yeah, my lighting is not the greatest, you guys. I apologize. I'm still working on lighting. I need another light over on this side, that side over there. And I have a, another light that points downwards up on the ceiling up there. But I need another light like this and to go over there to shine right on my products. So, I don't have one. So, we're just going to have to deal with what we got I just got off work, had to go to the doctor. I'm exhausted, but I wanted to get these soaps cut so I can get them edited. Get an end piece. Ooh, that's going to look pretty. All right. Okay, well, you really can't see too many swirls in that. Is it too dark? It's too dark. Dang it. Why is it so dark? Here, let me see. If I raise this, will this work any better? Yes, it does. It works better. So let's raise that. Hold on. I thought it would make it worse. Alright, so. See that again? Yes, much, much better, you guys. You can see it much better. Is the other piece. So this was my love spell soap, and I need something to clean my wire with. This was love spell, and we did two pinks and two purples. See, it left a fingerprint. I need to probably wear gloves with with tacky soaps like this. Um, it's not been quite 24 hours since I made it. And then I'm going to cut another one on here. That's just because I um, I have it and I need to get it cut. So I'm going to cut my other loaf of oatmeal milk and honey. Um, I didn't make a making video of it because I just made a, a making video of it. Um, oh, maybe I need to go over there. Look at me. I'm not even in the frame. Okay. Um, I need to make a uh, big um, another one of it, and I just did a video on it, so, um, I'm not going to do another video, and I just made one, like, last week, but we'll cut it on camera, just to say, hey, there's an extra bonus, an extra soap being cut, and I don't do any, ooh, that's pretty, there's the neon shining through on that. It's pretty too. I think we did a hanger swirl on this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did a hanger swirl tool on this one. But the swirls are kind of pretty. But the the darkness of the purple, I got the neon purple and then the orchid purple from Nurture Nurture Soap. And them together, I don't know. It makes kind of a I don't know with the hot pink and then the regular pink or the hot the flash dance mica I said I would say that's what's called flash dance mica I don't know if they like each other but the hot pink is definitely showing up with the purple last piece in the end cut Very, very sticky and tacky for some reason. Maybe it's because I unmolded um, sooner than 24 hours. I don't know. Let me clean 
my cutter here. Get ready for the other. So you guys don't have to um, watch me cut the other one. It's just an added bonus to the video. So I just wanted to go ahead and get it done real quick. And that has a flute, smooth, flat um, surface there. So I'm not going to really cut it. So this one isn't much to see. So I'm just going to cut a couple of bars. Um, I'm not going to cut the whole thing on camera. I don't want to bore you guys. I know you guys like watching the making videos. Some of you like the cutting videos. I like all of it. I like the making, the prepping, the, the cutting. Anything that has to do with soap, I really do like it. And my soap has went that dark because of the, um, the, um, honey that's in it. Because it's organic, natural, raw honey. That one not, is not nearly as tacky, but it's a hot process, so. Alright, there you guys go. I'll cut the rest of this off camera. Alright guys, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below in the comment section. And if you really like us, go ahead and click the bell. It's right beside subscribe. Um, up at the top, but underneath the video. Uh, it'll be a big red button that says subscribe and then right beside it you'll see a little bell you just click on that bell and then it'll ask you to confirm and you hit yes confirm and then every time i upload a video bam you guys will have it in your news feed so no more searching for videos or looking to see if it'll pop up or anything like that as soon as i put a new video up you guys will be the first to know i just wanted to let you know that and also guys um uh, I was wanting to tell you, um, I do have some stuff on my Etsy store, but some things I've sold out of at the flea market, so I'm going to have to go through my inventory and actually correct the Etsy, but um, there is a lot of bills that, I, bills that I need to pay, and they're coming up, and making money at the flea market is just not doing it for me, and you all know I started a new job. Um, I work at Hardy's right up the road from me. I mean, it, yeah, it's fast food, but hey, it's a job. I'm just thankful to have a job. And things are really tight right now, guys. So if you would like to order for me, please, please, please feel free to do so. I have got bills coming out my yin yang. <laughs> I was going to say the bills coming out my arse, but you know, other word, but just don't want to be, you know, have profanity on my video. I am a Christian woman, of course. So, um, but I have a lot of bills and I don't get paid for another three weeks because the way I started work, um, my first week was, um, I'll get paid for two weeks, but they hold back a week. So it's another three weeks before I get paid. So that is really going to kill me. I have my light bill coming up and my phone bill and my internet bill, which I have to have internet so I can, you know, just continue doing my selfie videos and I can't pay those without money so just tell your friends tell your family um, share my Etsy shop please 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 share my Etsy shop I wouldn't ask you this if I really didn't need it guys but um, I would really appreciate it and I guarantee you guys would love my soaps everybody I've ever given one to or I've sold one to has always came back and just raved how they loved them so I must be doing something right I mean I'm just a good old country girl that has that's a mama and just loves to soap and crochet and you know do that kind of thing I'm just a crafty person so um, yeah I'm having a hard time right now and um, I'm having especially a hard time because I left my husband but if you guys would like to go to my Etsy shop and maybe buy a couple soaps I would greatly appreciate it not only would that help me out but it also help keep a roof over my kids head just letting you know just putting that out there I'm not expecting anything from you guys I'm not asking you guys I'm just saying if you find it in your heart that you would like one of my soaps just go to my Etsy shop okay all right guys so um thanks for watching and please like comment and subscribe and we will catch you later Bye bye